And today we're taking a look at the VR Bluetooth Mini Controller 4-in-1 Gamepad. As you can see right on the box is a multifunctional Bluetooth remote controller gamepad which could be used for Android or iOS devices. If you're interested in this particular model, I'm going to leave a link on the description. And this is what we get in the box. We get the owner's manual and most importantly, the gamepad. This particular remote control comes in under $7 and works for both Android and iOS devices. It's a four in one because it could be used as a gamepad. It can be used as a remote control for your smart device, either cell phone, tablet, smart TV, or computer. It could also be used as a mouse for your smartphone, PC, or TV. It could be used as a shutter button for your camera for those selfies. As you can tell right out the box, this is very small if we compare it to a swiss army knife it's even smaller than that so that means it could fit anywhere and it can be easily taken on the go this device works via bluetooth it could give you a wireless distance up to 10 meters which is equivalent up to 33 feet and the way that you charge this device is via micro usb in this case this particular one did not come with a cable but the good thing that being a micro usb is easy to find this device could easily be charged under two hours and according to the manufacturer give you up to 20 hours of charging time in our case we only charged it once and we could say that in our last testing we did get around 17 hours with it once the gamepad is charging we get a red LED indicator on the front we have an X button a iOS button a triangle button and an at button and we have a joystick that moves to every direction we can say it's satisfyingly clicky it's easy to grip in one hand or in two hands as well we also have a selection button on the side which switching it up would go to game and switching it down would go to key meaning if you want to use the gamepad or as a controller you want to go to game and if you want to use it as a mouse a camera shutter or a selector that's the way to go and it has also worked well for those single button selectors or shooter games in vr and it even does have an arc in case you want to place it on your keychain or add a carrying rope or in case any of your friends need a wrist wrap so this won't go from a gamepad to a projector tile to your TV. Let's go ahead and test this bad boy out. So we're going to pair this using our Bluetooth and it's going to appear as Mo Cute and some numbers and letters after that. We go ahead and pair and once paired you're ready to go. You can start using the gamepad right away. As you can tell have it in on the game option right away we can choose throughout the menu of the smartphone. We can go and open apps or in this case turn on and off the Bluetooth to a certain device. In back of the controller, we have a QR code, and this is gonna take you to the manufacturer's webpage for games and downloads. But let's go ahead now and download a game from the Play Store. And we're gonna start with an old favorite of mine, Pac-Man. And we're gonna use the gamepad as a gamepad. And remember, you do that by having to switch to the game side. But if you wanna play a newer game, let's go ahead and try Angry Birds Go. And you know, I'm only losing to test the control out. Now we could go ahead and test this bad boy out in YouTube, but you can also use this just to control your volume, play, pause, forward on any media player. And to really be hands-free, we're gonna turn on the mouse feature, and you do that by holding the at button for around three seconds, and you will see the mouse appear. And remember, you do that by switching the controller to the key side and like this you can navigate your smart device without a glitch for controlling the volume you can do that just by pressing the buttons on the gamepad as you can tell we could forward the video just by a click of the mouse you can go all the way to open your camera app totally hands-free and on top of that you could use the start button as a shutter key so that means you can have your camera on one side and with the control remote you could hit the start button and have some shutter action. But now let's get to the fun part and let's take this bad boy to the inner webs of the virtual reality world. And there are certain games like the snowball shooter that only require a one button action. So leaving the controller in mouse mode, just by pressing the start button, you will get to throw that snowball to your opponent without a glitch. And in that same way, we could use it for this Western. Just remember to put the mouse out of view.
But let's say in this Maze Runner, we would switch our gamepad to game. And at the beginning of the game, it's going to calibrate the controller for us, meaning that you could turn the gamepad sideways and use it as a full on controller, as we did with the Pac Man and the Angry Birds. Overall, this is a great controller for the price. Can't complain. It can be easily taken on the go. And for a single charge, you do get a lot of hours of playing time. Not only to control your media, to take a picture, to play games, or to use it in virtual reality, either on your smartphone, iOS, or Android, your PC, laptop, or TV. Don't forget, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching, and here's a link to our latest video.